All right, it's that time of year again. Intercessors Invitational 2020. If you missed it, well, I'm sorry, you missed it. I'm in warfare mode and we are going to equip the saints today to deal with the issues of the enemy in their life, the warfare, the torment, the blindside attacks, four teachings all day long, I'm blasting the enemy, why? Because the enemy knows his time is short and so many intercessors have not been taught, not just the fundamentals, the intermediate or the advanced level spiritual warfare. I'm gonna go for a mix of uh, this, that, and everything today and just blast the enemy right between the eyes. You're gonna come with me and just get a few sneak peeks. If you wanna be involved in next year's Intercessors Invitational, first cue, get on my email list. I gotta get to know you. JenniferLeClaire.org, get on that email list, guys, and maybe you'll be with me live next year. Ward Heflin, she's got on to be in glory. She yeah. used to say praise until the worship comes. Yes. Then worship till the glory comes. <laughs> and then stand in the glory. Now I took some creative license, some liberty, and I added another part to that. You want to hear it? Prophesy in the glory. Yeah. Amen. Pray in the glory. Come on, war in the glory. Because our God is a glorious, victorious warrior God. He's never lost a battle. And he is here today, the captain of the host. The Bible said, what would we do first? Submit, submit. Submit yourself to God. That's part one. So if, you, if you're not, and then resist the devil, that's part two. So if you're not resisting the devil, I submit to you that you are not submitting to God. Let that sink in. Well, the Bible says, yes or no, that if we, that we have to first submit, then resist. It doesn't just say submit. That's what the soakers do. I love soaking. I'm not an anti-soaker, okay? I'm just not an anti-warrior, right? We need both. David was a worshiping warrior. The Bible says, submit yourself to God, but that's not all you have to do. Your warfare is not gonna go away if you just sit and praise Jesus all day, amen? We're praise and worship is a spiritual warfare strategy, but it is not the only spiritual warfare strategy. That is, that is a huge reason why many believers don't uh, have victory in warfare, because they're not really submitted to God. They wanna live any kind of way. They wanna fornicate one day and, and bind the devil, and it doesn't work that way. Yes, I said fornicate. Is somebody in here fornicating? If you are, you better run up to this altar right now and repent. I'm not kidding. Jesus, I feel the Holy Ghost. <sighs> Lord, please. <sighs> Is somebody in here fornicating? I'm going to tell you something. If you're in here and you're fornicating and you leave this place today without repenting, the enemy is about to bring something really heavy in your life. Is anybody going to judge the person who comes forth and repents? <laughs> Promise? <laughs> please, please, please. If you're fornicating, would you please come up here and repent, please? You're in a spiritual warfare boot camp. You'll get some retaliation. You won't be able to deal with it if you were practicing sin. I see that. 
Some of you don't think masturbation is fornication, but it's the same essential thing. So if you're masturbating, fly, fly, get it, fly on up here. Nobody, nobody's trying to judge you. We don't have no judgment here. We don't have no judgment here. We got no judgment here. There's no judgment here. Just repent before the Lord. And those of you watching online, you better get down on your knees and repent too. Because the Lord loves you. He loves you. He can wash that sin away. Take it as far as the east is from the west. He died for you. Father, we thank you that you forgive us of our sins, God. All of us. Because all sin is sin. It's all sin. So we ask you, Lord, to cleanse us. We, we repent, God. We, we ask you, Lord, just to cleanse us. Wash us with the water of your word. Cleanse us from this unrighteousness. All of us. Cleanse us, God. Cleanse us, God. We want to be submitted to you. We can't be submitted to you and walking in rebellion at the same time. So, Lord, cleanse us of the hidden sins, those unspoken sins, the things that only you and I know about. We and you. Nobody else knows what we're doing. But it's just you that knows. But you see it, and that's enough. So, Father, forgive us and strengthen us not to continue in our sin. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise God. Eternal attack. You handle it. The same way. You smell that? I smell something. It smells I like smell something burning. petrol or something. You smell that? I do smell something. Does anybody not smell it? It smells like paint thinner or something. Can you come stand behind her? I just want to blast that off you in Jesus' name. Not the smell, but the warfare. Come step a little one more this way. I command the enemy to loose you in the name of Jesus. I break every power of the enemy against your life in the name of Jesus. I decree no weapon formed against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. And I speak to you, foul demon, and I say, come out of her in Jesus' name. 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 Out, 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 out. You spirit of torment, come out of her in Jesus' name. Loose her now in the name of Jesus. 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 Loose her hands in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 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 Smell went away, didn't it? Did you see that? Can I can I can I tell you what that hap what just happened? Do you still smell it? Nobody still smells it. I smell a sweet fragrance. Do you smell sweet fragrance? Do you smell it? Sabrina, did you smell it? Did you smell the, the paint thinner or whatever that smelled like? Did everybody smell that? Do you smell it now? That was because there was a demon on you, ma'am. It's not your fault. No, no, no. She like, wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> the woman of God that came up to ask that question, that nocturnal voice, that nighttime warfare, that was a demon that was ministering to you. It's not your fault, right? There's no shame in it. What did I say? There's the, can we demonstrate? This is not just a boot camp. The power of God is here, man. I keep saying this, 2 Corinthians 2.14, Paul said, thanks be to God who always leads us into triumph in Christ Jesus. And that's the key. If he's leading you, you will have victory. 
if he's not leading you into that battle, you're, not, you're gonna get beat up because you don't have something that he need. He, you don't, first of all, you don't have the grace. And apart from Christ, we can do nothing. So if you go into a battle, God didn't call you to fight, you're in presumption at best, you're in rebellion at worst. Specifically, if God says, you know, don't fight that battle, and then you let somebody talk you into doing it, please. Well, I don't know how that principality thing went over. A lot of people try to battle principalities, but the Lord is not leading them to do it. Therefore, it's called presumption. Anything we do, anything we do, where we're not led by the Lord is presumptuous. That's, you know, going out to dinner without, I mean, we don't need to get religious about it, but anything that you do that's big in life, I'm not gonna tell you you can't go to Popeyes, okay? Anything you do that's not led by the Lord, any major decisions you're making, and warfare is a major decision, moving is a major decision, changing jobs is a major decision, who you marry is a major decision, anything that you don't let the Lord lead you in, you are in danger of being presumptuous about it. So you have to be very careful. In the realm of principalities, I see people getting into presumption and getting hurt. Does that mean we could never battle principalities? I taught that class. I'm not gonna teach it again here, but we had a good reaction. They didn't stone me. So we're going into the lunch break. We're actually already eating my lunch. I'm gonna drink my cafe, my cafecito. And Prof. Vanessa is missing. We're hoping to find her. We're not sure if the rapture occurred and she was the only one taken, so. I think the blood of Jesus, and I mentioned this in one of the other sessions, I think the blood of Jesus is not, is, if you can put it in this way, underutilized. And people plead the blood without understanding what it is they're doing. Because a lot of, and, and a lot of baby Christians, they don't know. They're, 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 you know, because a lot of prayer is taught, but a lot of prayer is caught. But you can catch the spirit of a thing without understanding the words or the, the, the spiritual principle behind a thing. And I don't think it necessarily works as well. Right? I mean, you can just, you, you, we don't want to be perished. When I plead the blood of Jesus. I think it, it works to a degree because the blood of Jesus works, but I think it's, it's, it's the faith and what we're saying that activates the promise. You know, unbelievers can plead the blood of Jesus all day. It's not going to work for them because they don't have the, they don't, they don't have, first of all, they don't have covenant. So the, the blood only works once you get saved. The blood cleanses you, right? But, but I don't, I don't, I think that we have to, uh, we have to understand what it is we're praying to be accurate in the spirit and have full faith in the results we're going to get. But the, the, we're in a word activated kingdom. We have to speak it forth. We have to decree a thing, declare a thing. We have to prophesy a thing. We have to speak it forth. Jesus is the high priest of our confession. It says that on purpose, right? So we're in a word activated. See, the enemy understands this. This is why he puts so much pressure on your tongue to try to get you to agree with what he's saying to your mind. Because he knows that speaking it to your mind as a vain imagination is not enough to bring it to pass. He has to get you to curse yourself. He has to get you to speak his word, his curse, his vain imagination out of your mouth. And it's like signing a contract with your tongue. I would like to ask uh, pastors Josh and Amy to come up here. About a year ago, you said the Lord had spoken to you about some things and the calling and the maturity on your life, what he wanted to bring you into. And you asked me, you know, what do you think? You remember that? You said, what do you think? I said, well, I believe you heard the Lord. I said, I can't fully confirm that because I haven't seen, you know, the fruit of it. And I asked you, well, what have you been doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And you said, and I, you told me, and I said, well, that's all good. And I said, I'm going to pray. And I said, I'm going to watch and look for that fruit because there's always a fruit of a calling. There's always an anointing that comes with a calling. And so I'm going to commission you today as an apostle. And you as a prophet. Now understand that's probably going to bring some warfare. So you might want to just go back, sit down. I don't know. You want, you, is, do I have your permission to, all right. You going to cry now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
I commission you in the name of Jesus as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree that you will build and plant, that you will, you will, you will see glory manifestations in your ministry, that many will be healed and delivered and saved and propped up, and you will raise up spiritual sons and daughters with a heart like unto yours to go out and multiply and replicate the models and the patterns that you've established in the spirit for California and beyond in Jesus' name. And I release that apostolic anointing of greater measure in Jesus' name. And I commission you in the name of Jesus as a prophet of the Lord God most high. And I decree that your words will cut demon powers. They will shred demon powers. But your words will bring life to people. Your words will bring hope to people. And the Lord says you are a prophet of hope. And although you're direct and although you're uh, 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 serious in nature, the Lord says I will cause you to, 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 to wound them so you can heal them. Your words will cut, but they will heal. You will begin to see more clearly in the spirit and understand what my will is uh, beyond even your region. I just see that whole West Coast beginning to open up to you. God is expanding your territory from California through the West Coast, and it will go beyond that. That's your next measure. That's your next metron. So I release that prophetic anointing of greater measure upon you in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And we protect you. We plead the blood of Jesus over you in the name of the Lord. We protect you. We stand with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm sorry, Apostle Joshua. <laughs> I know there's a lot going on in the world and everybody's busy, but the reality you would come and spend this weekend with us is very special to me. So thank you for coming. And thank you for your service in Awakening Prayer Hubs. You know, we've we've had uh, just that weird email went out, it wasn't supposed to go out. Did you see that email? Yes. Welcome to yes. Dear God, that was just the pure devil. I was just starting to catch my breath from, you know, the lady that was stealing. I was just starting to catch my breath. I'm like, ah, I'm in Dallas. I'm at the Global Prophetic Summit. And I'm like, man, this is finally under control. And then this, this, this email went out. I'm still trying to clean up that mess. So it's been a, it's been something, but that resistance demonstrates to me that we're doing a great work and we can't come down off the wall. You know, Amen. I mean, we're making an impact. All right, it's that time of year again. Where's my light? Woo, there it is. Y'all can't be shy. About there it. I am. Listen, we can't be shy. We gotta eat. You better eat. <laughs> you gonna eat all those pies? Nope.